tissue, tissues. And if we can do that, we can get neuro, new neurological functions. So don't forget about the mushroom kingdom, though. The mycelium kingdom is very, very good for the brain, especially when you start talking about lion's mane. You start talking about your trumpets. You start talking about your reishi. You start talking about things like that. Very, very good for brain cognition, uh, brain cognitive functions. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, cool. And then berries. So stick with the berries. Stick with the mushrooms. Pin sear the mushrooms. Don't use no actual seed oils. Get them on high fruits, vegetables, and melons. And then he either need that nervous system kit with the three bitters that you already got, or you need to get him that geogenetic therapeutic package level one, and y'all need to go to town. And what we notice is within the first four to six weeks, you start seeing fa the faces start lifting itself back up because you're strengthening the nerves again. You start seeing yeah. uh, myelin sheets responding. You start seeing the talking. Don't be so much of a slur again. Like you start seeing, you start seeing the body go back it's to like normal. He, he, he slurs so much in like, like I said, he'll know what he's trying to say, but he can't get it out. And he'll get so mad because he can't say it, he'll just stop talking. No, I get like it. He, I get it. So look, that's, cut off the whole conversation. That's what I do, King. I start there. I start there. You need to clean out all the acids in his body because uh, I'm pretty sure the acids is what's really chewing away at them nerves. And then you see what, what causes a stroke anyway. Usually it's a, it's a shortage of blood flow, so you got to clean out the cardiovascular system. you got to clean out the vascular arteries, get any type of protein or calcification out of the arteries. So he's going to need a, a full body detoxification. And, uh, since he, and I think you just should take it slow with him. But start changing the diet first and then start incorporating the herbs. That's what I would okay. do. Okay, and then my second question uh, was a uh, um, so basically one, basically one of my best friends they told me that they got uh, HPV I think that's what yeah, it's called yeah, and yeah. I think it's called HPV um, and so I keep hearing like I keep hearing like you know the what the the, the I guess you call it the the myth is you know you can't get rid of it I guess yeah that's and it's most definitely a myth. You can get rid of HPV. HPV and HSV is the same strand. It's just same family. You still you still dealing with you still dealing with the actual uh hemoth worm. It's just one hemoth worm pleomorphizes itself and causes warts, and the other one causes canker sores. They're still a part of the same zoster family, though. Uh the only difference is herpes end up causing degenerative neurological functions. HPV end up causing reproductive abnormalities. So you see a lot of women with HPV end up with ovarian cancer or end up with fibroids or end up with some type of cancer going on within a uterine wall or going on with a cervix. In men, you start seeing the prostate mess up. You start seeing penile atrophy where their penises start to shrink. And the thing about yeah. HPV in men is it goes undetective. So they yeah. walking around and penis is shrinking and balls are shriveling up and they don't know why. And that's because most most likely they have HPV, but it's undetected. But even though males are asymptomatic, they can pass it to women. So the reason how women is getting HPV is by the man, but the man is going to get tested. And since they don't test positive for it, you don't see it. So whether it's a, a male or female, I always treat HPV like I treat any of my herpes clients. And that's a full blown geogenetic therapeutic package level two or three all the way we got to get rid of that that worm and we, what we're dealing with is a fasciolopsis fluke worm that starts off very small and then when it travels through the body it gets bigger and bigger and it changes if this same fasciolopsis booski worm passes the the blood barrier and make it into the thymus gland it starts eating up all of the the urethrocytes and cells and t-cells in the thymus gland and it lowers the cd4 count guess what they call that they call it hiv you see what i'm saying if it makes Taking inside the pancreas and it starts eating up all the enzymes out of the pancreas and messes with the islands of Langerhans. Guess what they call that? Because you're not producing insulin. They call it diabetes one or hyperglycemia one or two. So we talk, we dealing with the same pleomorphic bacteria, depending on the location and where it's at in the body, it causes a different type of issue. And based off these symptoms, these issues and detoxification symptomologies, that's what they call a disease. So HPV, HPV is an actual, not only it's a bacterial infection, but it's a parasitical infection. So you would treat it like a parasite. And that's what I would do. So I would do the geogenetic therapeutic package level uh, two. I would do about... 50 ounces of juice in a day, the geogenetic juice, the juice that healed me. And then I will most you definitely the make sure I'm not. Heal you yeah, the juice is me. 
called the geogenetic juice you can just go down oh. my page and find okay. that uh and then and then most definitely make sure that whoever that is is moving their lymphatic system whether they, that's they trampolining right, they, right here, they listening okay look make sure you drunk look trampolining rebounding running jumping jacks uh, rebounding, anything that's going to move your body to move your lymphatic system to start moving that interstitial fluid around because that's the only thing that's going to get rid of metabolic waste. And then you need to, you know, get your clove game up. Raw cloves is very good. Wormwood is very good. Make sure that when you make, you're making your wormwood tea, you're using cold water and then you let it go to room temperature before you drink it. But don't heat up the wormwood because you heat up most of the actual healing constituents that's in the wormwood and that's going to stop you from healing anyway. And last but not least, black walnut hog and green walnut hog you're going after a parasite you need to kill the parasite get rid of the parasites you get rid of the hpv hpv and hsv is not a viral it's not a viral load they all saying it is but it's not so that's what i would do that's cool good looking uh, bro I was all good. Yeah, and everybody that's typing black walnut hall, make sure you can find the green ones. They're way powerful and more stronger than the black ones. And Purdy Arco is very, very good too, Golden Brown 22. You show sure right. I forgot about Purdy Arco and Cat's Claw. These are things you can use, but all of these things are in the Geogenetic Therapeutic Package uh, Level 2, brother. Thank you. And then and then back to the, the my bad, before we get off, you know, the, 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 the 90% berries 10% yeah, 90 per, 90 fruits and yeah 10 percent 10 percent all the other stuff to wean him off make sure you give him 50 ounces of liquids a day brother and then you're gonna give him the geogenetic therapeutic package level one or get him that nervous system kit and start him on them three bitters now brother okay thank you i'm gonna I'm make sure i hit right. you with the um, yeah hit me with that order number the order number if we can get that out i got you all right you got to hang up brother peace right. love light and healing good It's a little X button in your top left. No, I'm All right. Any more questions, y'all? If y'all got any questions about that so far, let me know. He said he had a stroke at 25. Oh, my God. I would do the same thing. Peace, peace. How you feeling? I'm so happy to see you. Uh, crazy. So, What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Sasha. I am originally from Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad. But I'm Trinidad from Dad in the building. Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. And I live in Phoenix, Arizona right now. Where you at? You in the shower? Yeah. This woman is in the shower. Where, Where you, you at? Going? You in Phoenix? Huh? You in Phoenix, you said? No, no. -uh. I said this woman is in the shower. Yeah, because I'm... Talking, my foot hurt, but let me just tell you something. So I have high blood pressure since I had, I had, I'm 44, and in the last five years, I just had like three babies. I have a 19 year old, I got a six year old, four year old, and a one year old. Right? Congratulations! That means your wound is fertile. Congratulations. Since then, now they've been telling me my blood pressure is high. My, I got diabetes. All these things is going on. So. I've been trying to do it natural and, you know, I don't eat any meat for seven years now, you know, but I do eat fish and um, shrimp and all that. And, uh, but my blood pressure is still high, be sky high. Yeah, it sounds like you have post-pregnancy hypertension. That's what they call it, post-pregnancy hypertension. And it's basically after you go through all of uh, the hard, rigorous body, basically body trauma for, for, for giving birth to all of those babies, you get a significant amount of cortisol into the bloodstream and your hormones get thrown off by way of your adrenal glands. And it actually okay. rise, it raises something called the hydrostatic pressure inside the body. So the first thing I know for a fact is you need magnesium. Okay. You're magnesium deficient. Okay. So you need to get more magnesium inside of your bloodstream and potassium or what they call potassium. Yes. So what I would do if I was you, I think you need to get uh, actual urinalysis done for we can check your kidneys and your adrenals to see, you know, how they functioning. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure something is going on with your kidneys and your adrenals and you're holding a lot of acids and fluids. Yeah, in because areas. that's guess what happened too. Like I just started being sleepy all the time. Like, like literally sleeping on myself. I'm like, what is going on? Then with your adrenals. You know, so you you're very, and, very adrenally and I'm peeing fatigued. a lot at night, like a million times. For your adrenals as well and your kidney. See, so these are, this is a kidney and adrenal issue. So what I would do if I was you, I would go on to the site and get the kidney and adrenal kit. Uh, while you're waiting on that, though, I want you to go get a, a, a few things. Uh, uh, things that actually help lowers 
the blood pressure. You have something called Flor de Manita. It's called Flor de Manita. So it's called Flor de Manita flower. Nabi, would you put this in the uh put in the comment board? It's F L O R space D E M A N I T A Manita, I believe. All right. Make sure y'all because I just went to the doctor to get a whole workup done. He gave me some, he gave me like a blood pressure pill, 100 milligrams of beta See, so look, I've been I on took, that three I took, days. I'm so, feeling insane. Like, so look, I, I took that for three years, and guess what? My penis couldn't get hard. So don't take good that. Good thing I, well, I don't have no penis. My yeah. bad. I can't tell you not to take that while we're on live because that's illegal. I wouldn't take it. But I'm saying it, it really messed with my, my chemistry of my body. That's why I had to get off of all of it because I had I blood. feel I had, crazy like my I feel like dizzy my, like I'm yeah like, you gonna real, you start you gonna start getting high you gonna start feeling the pressure in your your head and everything so, so what to do I've been on it like three days what to do stop so, so I went I can't tell you to stop I tell you what I'll do if it was me if it was me I would stop taking it and I will get that Flor de Manita flour I will make sure I'm drinking an eight ounce glass of tea of that a day I'll make sure that I'm not eating any cooked foods I make sure that I lower my sodium intake I'm not eating any table salt I, I got make sure that I'm not eating in no type Celtic of salt too see I will even calm down on the Celtic salt I wouldn't I wouldn't eat that as well and I'll do fruits and vegetables and I'll make sure that my fruits and vegetables is in a ratio of 60 40 60 percent fruit 40 percent vegetables when your blood pressure get high make sure you take a hot and cold shower that'll help regulate it more go for a 20 minute walk and start exercising that's very very good for the okay. blood pressure and for the cardiovascular system but your issue is your kidneys and your adrenals your adrenals is your systolic that's the top number your yeah. kidneys is your bottom number that's diastolic so you're gonna have to clean up the kidneys and the adrenals so the kidney and adrenal kit off the website will be very very good for you if you need your own herbs what you can do for your adrenals i wouldn't recommend you do any licorice root or any ashwagandha because it's going to raise the blood pressure higher you see okay. what i'm saying so make sure you stay away from that. But I will do wild yam root for the actual adrenals. For the kidneys, I would do parsley. I would do cleaver's leaf, and I would do cilantro. That'll help actually get rid of all that pressure in the kidneys. And then if you want to just take my herbs, again, the kidney adrenal kit. And then if you actually, you can Google this yourself. Just look up fruits and vegetables that have high magnesium content. Right. Make sure that it's from a credible source, and then you incorporate those into your diet, and you'll be okay. Right, thank you so much. I won't be sleeping no more because I'm yeah. trying to catch my husband leaving early. Yeah, no, you got it. You got it. So <laughs> peace, love, like him until you got to Take care of yourself. Thank you so much. I have a good night. I appreciate y'all for uh putting all this stuff into the comments, y'all. Thank y'all for participating. Who else we got? I'm just doing randoms, y'all. I'm just doing randoms. else we got peace peace blessings blessings goddess how you doing hi jackie how are you I'm doing good what's your name where you from my name is deja i'm from ohio but oh. i live in california ohio ohio is one of the oldest civilizations of people in the world y'all got all types of pyramids and stuff out there that they don't just put courthouses on top of oh wow there is <laughs> Super ancient out there in Ohio. Shouts out to uh Bobby, Fruit Up Bobby from Ohio. Shouts out to Kev from Ohio. Shouts out yeah. to my Ohio brothers. They fruit yeah. it up out there in Ohio. They are. They are. What's going on with you? Talk to me. Okay. So I had recently got some blood work done. <laughs> um, I've been feeling like um lightheaded, uh vision blurry, um hair thinning, shedding. Lack of urn and thyroid. Uh, thyroid. So but my really? last came out today and it was abnormal. Okay, so what was your so if you if you can pull them up, I just need to know your TSH, your free T3, your free T4, your T3, and your T4. See, it's on my phone, and I'm scared. Uh, if I, oh, okay. All right. But, so, um, so what did they offer you? Well, well, I actually have a phone visit on Wednesday. So look, so you're kind of send it to your your my chart, and you can look over that's it. What I was, that's so what I looked over. It. Tell you to do because I don't want to tell you. I can, it's hard for me to tell you what to because I want to make this a teachable moment, but I can't. It'll be like an hour long because I don't know exactly what your meta. I don't know what your thyroid chart reads. So do me this favor. Uh, what's your name on? What's your name on here? Um, Deja Vuquan. Deja D E J A. D E J A. Underscore. Four. Vu Vuquan V U. Uh -huh. Q U A W N A W N. Yeah. So Deja underscore B U Q U A W N. V as in Victor. V U like Peace. Deja like Deja. Okay. Got you. All right. I'm gonna have Nabi Nabi reach out to her. Yes, sir. 
Uh, I'm gonna have my manager reach out to you, and he gonna give you the email to send a chart to. Since you was selected on this live, I feel like I'm doing a disservice if I ain't give you no answers. So send okay. us that chart when you get it, and uh, after you talk to your doctor, and then we 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 help you out. Okay. So you will receive this right now. He's gonna okay. message you now. Okay. All right. Like, All right. Thank you so much. His name not B. Not B. Yeah, not B. Okay. Thank right, you. Peace, Thank you. Peace, love, out of him. It's right here. I wrote it down right here. I know my hand right kind of sloppy. Don't talk about me now. All right, who else we got? Thank you for doing this live. Always, y'all, always. Blessings, oh. blessings. Peace, oh. peace. Wow, I did not know I was going to get accepted. Hey. Hey, hey, hey where your face at? How you doing, goddess? Hi, how are you? I look a mess right now. But I was I was coming in on behalf of my sister. What's your name? Like you been, uh, got it. My name is Diara. This is Diasha. Diara, Diasha. Y'all twins? Y'all no. look just <laughs> y'all look just alike. <laughs> Where y'all from? You. We from San Diego, California. San so Diego. In yeah, okay. Okay, y'all stay in Atlanta though. Mm -hmm. What's going on with y'all? Talk to me. So my sister is um fighting kidney failure. And what's the percentage of your kidneys? What's the percentage? So your kidneys. Well, with kidney disease, like the end stage, I'm on dialysis already. You already on dialysis? Okay. Are you still able to produce urine? Are you still urinating or are you completely dry? You no, I'm not urinating. Are you completely dry? Do you feel still feel the urge? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, some days. So um, you're not even producing a drip or nothing? No. Uh, how long has it been since you ain't been able to produce no urine? About three years. About three years? Okay, and then what they say the percentage percentage of your kidneys was? Um, you know I can't remember exactly, but I can figure it out and then DM you if you need that information. Yeah, I am, and then I I want to know this too. Uh, so how many weeks? What three? Somebody keep blowing me up, and they know I'm on live. Uh, how often are you going to be on dialysis? What three to four times a week? Uh, three. Three days out the week. I only do two and a half hours, though. Okay. Do they have you on a water restriction? What is yes. It? The 32 ounces? About that, yes. About 32. If you drink more than that, do you swell up real bad? Yeah. yeah. Where is that? Is it in your legs or in your ankles? I feel like it's more in my, like, legs and ankles. And sometimes and then sometimes cheeks. my face. Okay, so you back up interstitially there as well. Okay, so look, let's do this. We're going to do the same thing with you, too. I guess so. we said we was going to do this this month. We was going to give away some free packages. I guess it's going to be the new. All right, let me get your, uh, let's do it. Let me, what's, what's your name on here? Hers is um, um, Yellow yellow Butterfly. If you, if, if, no, if you, oh, if you going to answer, whoever answered for her, if you're going to be the one answer for her quick, let me get yours. Because he's going to send it yeah, tonight. Yeah, because I'm the freak, because she wasn't even going to get on here. So I had to get on here while I was able to. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so, uh, what, what's your what's your uh, name on here? Diara D I E D I E. Mm -hmm. Double R Double A. R A. Mm -hmm. And Diego, uh, like San Diego. D I E G O. D I E G O. All right. So at Diara Diego. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You come oh, now. Be here. Go this one right here. All right. Now be gonna hit you up. I got your stuff right here. Okay. Okay. All right. We might as well okay, so this be let's do three. All right, all right, let's do yep. So uh, he finna DM you now, and then send all that paperwork over, and then uh, we're gonna see exactly what we can do. So we're gonna give away one more free. So this will be three packages. Hey, I'm so excited. All right. Thank we're gonna you see. So we're gonna much. see what we can do. Nah. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. Have a blessed night. Right, peace, y'all. Peace. Can we do one more giveaway? Okay. This will be our charity for the month. Hang up, dear. All right, who else we got? Blessings, blessings. We at, we at. Peace. Peace, peace, love, like the healing. You on, bro? Oh, peace, what's God. Up, what's up? 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 Lucky in the building. What's up with the King Gary? Man, man, what's going on with your brother? Talk to me. Man, I got some young 15-year-old athletes. Uh, 
play football, uh, lift heavy, run track, play basketball. Uh, we're trying to make this switch over to, you know, the fruits and vegetables. I just want to make sure I'm excited about that gorilla mix coming out. Man, it'll Can't be out for... March the 1st, brother. Uh, it's going to change the world, man, brother. I'm telling post, you. Post the pre-orders. I won't make my order today. But uh, even with that, like, like, what should we base our, base our nutrition on? Because traditionally, you know, I've been able to, you know, record their protein and see how much they're getting from that. But just switching over to this, I want to make sure that, you know, I, I weigh them weekly now just to see their progress and stuff like that. So I just want to know. Oh, man, he just froze up on me. Keep calling me real quick. Give me one second. I got to block. Okay. All right, I'm back. That's done. All right, so what I would do with the youngins is uh, you need to actually do gorilla, a whole gorilla lifestyle for them. I had them eating like a gorilla. I had them working out like a gorilla, especially if, if they doing sports and stuff like that. Had them working out gorilla animal training. We got an animal training program coming out. They go crazy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, vegetables is very good for them. You have alf alpha sprouts. So make sure that whatever they eating, you add a handful of alf alpha sprouts to their diet. Okay. Uh, avocado have a bunch of good omega-3 amino acid fatty chains in them. Start adding avocado to their diet as well. Uh, okay. Kale. Kale builds good muscle. So start adding kale to their diet and bamboo shoots. Bamboo okay. shoots is crazy. That adds a bunch of what you would call complex amino acid structures to their body as well. So we got bamboo shoots, we got kale, we got avocados, and we have alpha, alpha sprouts. These are amazing for building muscle and sustaining amino acid structures, right? Now we got to bring in hydration and we have to bring in all of the nutritional needs. that You're going to get that from your fruits. Fruits, berries and melons yeah, yeah. yeah we did that this summer like just pretty much berries uh watermelon uh no cramps no issues with that as far as they hydration that's goes. good see 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 did they slim down a lot though yeah not not too much my 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 older son who's a month older did not but my my youngest one is the one i gotta watch he's got a really high metabolism so yeah so what you gotta do is look get them on gorilla squats Gorilla squats, get them on uh, uh, bear crawls, get them on backwards orangutans, like really get them on animal training. We coming out with a whole animal training course that's going to be crazy. But once you get them on those and while they're on the field, man, it's, it's going to be amazing. So uh, all those five things, incorporate that into their diet. And melons too. Melons are fruits that builds muscles. Melons okay. build muscle. That's the fruit that builds muscle. Right. And then keep them on all the other things I just said. With that Gorilla Mix, brother, I'm telling you, the Gorilla Mix, we got Gorilla, gorilla Mix Energy Powder. Yeah. We got uh, Gorilla Mix Muscle Up. And we got Gorilla Mix Superfood. Yeah, Those I saw the, the, I saw the man, YouTube earlier. Man, look, it got me. I'm talking about it got me yeah. going crazy. Man, I I'm, see you been I flexing done, look, lately. I slimmed down and everything, brother. Like, I'm straight building muscle, man. Like, yeah. I'm building muscle, man. Like, I'm looking real different out here. All right. <laughs> Right. And that's that's I, nothing but exercising and gorilla mix and right. eating healthy, brother. Right. My qu another question too is like in Kentucky, I don't have access to like. Well, I've tried to buy watermelons and stuff like that. Most of them are bad or rotten. Like, what do you recommend as far as like even during the summertime? Like, I've never frozen watermelon before because I'm just now starting this this like this year. Like, what do you recommend like during these winter months uh, as far as like the access to or like substitutes for. Uh, like the lack of uh, so to be honest with you guys i believe in traditional changes of the climate changes the fruit right. so so i don't believe unless you in a tropics where it is uh where it is hot in the higher temperature all year round i wouldn't even do it fruit changes with the right. season so if you are somewhere where it's have an unnatural weather change because me personally i believe winter is unnatural anyway but if you was in a state that have an unnatural weather change that go into winter, the tr the crops actually change with the seasons, just right. change with them. Because it's actually unnatural to be eating watermelon <laughs> in the middle of winter. Right. I, I, you see what I'm saying? I was thinking that, but I was like, uh, you know. But you I, see what yeah, I'm saying? I understand that. But yeah. if, if you do want to stick to that and you want to eat it here and there, there's nothing wrong with the freezing the freezing method. It's kind of like canning. A lot of people do that as well. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, in the winter, just make sure that you're keeping your uh, ascorbic acid up or what you would call vitamin C. Them are all your citrics. 
Right. You see what I'm saying? Make sure that you're getting your magnesium, man. That's why I love sweet potatoes in the wintertime. Right. Sweet, baked sweet potatoes is amazing, and it keep your muscle up, and it gives you high potassium, magnesium, and energy. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. I like to switch. If I'm in a if I'm in a climate that changes to winter and fall, I'm gonna eat fall. Uh, I'm gonna eat fall fruits and vegetables, and then when it go into winter, I'm gonna eat winter fruits and vegetables. Right. That's why you have certain fruits and vegetables that you can plant in all seasons. Yeah. That means yeah. that you have seasonal eating with your fruits and vegetables. Just change yeah, we, with it, brother. Do the same thing. We we got a nice ass garden that we do our fruit, our winter crop and stuff like that. I'm talking, I want to give you an air dap, brother. That's Grow right. your own food yeah. is amazing, I'm brother. About to, I'm about to try these sprouts in the kitchen myself yeah. too. Hey, look, I, I, hey, I, I, people been sleeping easy. on this too. Microgreens. Micro green, man. yeah, yeah. We about to do, man. we about to do a, a container. They do. Uh, there's a company here that does a container that we're gonna do as far as the micro. Yeah, green man. We, we, them. I we don't know this, how many we're gonna sell. Them, we went but, to this yeah. form. We got something called uh, from soil to table coming out. Where yeah. We go around to all the black farmers and we film them forming. We talk about food scarcity. We talk about preserving the soil, putting uh, alkalinity back in the soil, yeah, putting yeah. minerals back in the soil That's because it. the soils are so stripped of minerals and the soil is mineral right. deficient. Man, this dude showed us his microgreens. Man, dude growing. He growing horses and man, horses look like Hercules right. of microgreens. Uh, yeah. All they eat is microgreens, showing you how much nutrients is packed in the microgreens, man. And that's the reason why I love alpha, alpha sprouts so much, brother. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it though, man. I, I have a degree in nutrition, so I've been learning so much. Oh, been so much we, got, we got a link up, brother. Yeah, we got a link up, man. I just got my PhD, much. brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm adopting that. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get into that herbalist class that you just was talking about a minute ago. Yeah, we dropping really it in to get two to weeks, it. brother. We dropping in two weeks. It's an accredited school. It's gonna it's gonna be really recognized. Uh, you actually get a PhD in philosophy behind it. All of it is all legit. Okay. It's backed by real schools. It's credited by real schools. I really, I mean, it's amazing. We've been putting in a lot of work, brother. So uh, right. make sure that you stay in contact with us. Yeah, brother. yeah, yeah, man. man. Take my get my info. Get you got his own info. Yes, sir. I mean, uh, you see his name on there? Yeah. All right, now B got it. He screenshot yeah. you. We're going to hit you up. Sir, I appreciate hey, it, man. Hey, good looking at what you're doing with them children, though, man. Children need black males that's doing something positive within the community for they to look up to. So I just uh, want to yeah. say I salute you, brother, straight up. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a whole group. Doing and taking that responsibility, brother. We salute you, man. We yes, need some black leaders and males in the community really rearing up these young black men. Yes, sir. And we appreciate this truthful you know, knowledge that you're spitting. Uh, he said he don't see it, so I need your I need uh, your at real fast. It's uh at G D is in dog R E I D three at G D R E I D three. Yep. All right, got you, brother. All right, he go. He, oh, okay, Nisha just sent it. Thank you, Nisha. All right, All right. Uh, we go. We going to you up tonight, yes, sir. Hey, I'm gonna send some pictures to them boys. Yeah, hey, and, and send some pictures of the boys, and send some pictures. Of